I've lived in Darjeeling all my life. I was born here, I was educated here. Every time I leave, I keep coming back to Darjeeling. So, um, yeah, Darjeeling is my home. I'm Noreen Dunn and I graduated from the mid-career program in the Kennedy School in 1991 and I'm the deputy director of Hayden Hall. What's so beautiful about Darjeeling, it's a crucible. We have a cross-section of people that live in this area but there are no job opportunities in Darjeeling and that is one of the biggest problems we have. Then they also have the spillover of very poor hygiene, a very poor housing, uh, very poor opportunities for income. Hayden Hall is a social work community development centre targeting women and children that are from the poorer classes of society. Well, what we're trying to do is just improve the quality of their lives. And if we can do that, maybe we can restore some balance in a very unjust world. And finally, to provide their children a window of opportunity that life is not as bad as it looks. I am studying. I am studying English literature. English literature. Oh, very good. Is it difficult, Sarota? No. No, not difficult. Not all my education had not prepared me for this. I mean, I don't come from a very well-to-do family, but I had not seen stark poverty and deprivation as I saw when I started going down to the slums of Darjeeling and the rural villages. And then I realized, my God, this type of work requires people that are innovative, creative, giving. And I said, my God, am I up to it? And so it became a challenge. There is no glamour in the grassroots. It's tough and one has to be very tough-minded too. I would like to bridge that tremendous gap between the grassroots workers and the policy makers, which seems to be coming wider and wider and wider. I realize that, my God, what they are going to come up with or is going to impact what's happening in my part of the world. I never ever thought that, that I would get an opportunity in Harvard. Even in a little place like Darjeeling, we had heard of Harvard as being one of the top universities in the world. I thought immediately it would help me in terms of my public relations, it would help me in relation to the government, both the, the Indian government as well as any governments abroad. One of the things I learned at the Kennedy School was the methods and I learned that one had to speak out in order to be heard and encouraged by the Kennedy system of case studies encouraged by the Kennedy system of forum get-togethers and intellectual honesty. And that just, just sort of supported everything that I believed in. You train a man, you train one person. You train a woman, you train an entire family. And you train a nation. 80% of our problems are dealing with women's problems. Because usually health, education, spirituality, culture is left in the hands of women. But women's status is not so fabulous right across India. So in all our programs, the idea is to empower her. Our major end is to make all our people self-reliant. When I now reflect hindsight, it was the people I met at the Kennedy School. My classmates, first and foremost. We got a cross-section of people. They came from all walks of life. You've got people who are presidents, senators and mayors and congressmen and, you know, mayor of Bogota and defense minister of Guatemala and the food minister of Costa Rica. So what was wonderful about that is I knew them as colleagues, class friends. It was just unbelievable. The Kennedy School gave me ideas to hang my experiences on. At least I can say with confidence and with humility, Hayden Hall has great significance in the lives of people.